Welcome everybody, this is Strategy Wolf and welcome back to Victoria 3 in our um, Japanese Empire under Emperor Ikome Yamato. We are in March 1870 and last time we saw the Americans, the US, conquering here the state of Sushu, Sushu uh, where Shanghai is located. Uh, a state with a population of 20 million Chinese people which makes up for... yeah... Uh, population of 62 so a third of the population of the united states right now comes from china so yeah let's see what they will do where they if they stay here if they rebel if they move to the us or so on it's going to be interesting to see however it's a clear indicator that uh, we are not really safe uh, where if we don't rely on ourselves so we increased our um, navy uh, program and we are building a bigger fleet right now not only to defend ourselves but yeah to in general be able to react to this and yeah, this is mainly what's going on, and let's jump right into it and get going. Um, yeah. Also, we increased our colonial level, um, but I'm kind of waiting for... I mean, definitely need some government again. Which is we some bureaucracy, I mean. It's best we get here. Crazy, this is so... So much demand for this. Build some government buildings and let's observe how the um, yeah how they're gonna they're really slowly filling. I feel like it takes quite a some time to train the sailors. It really takes some time, yeah. So probably yeah, but also fleet our fleet is also slowly growing and now it the, the moment has come where we can actually support more declared interest and we will declare interest on the um pacific oceania which is yeah oceania which will take some time until it's there i guess and then we will be able to establish our first over not oversee i mean we had our first colonies up here but they're not real colonies um oh the japanese turned the number one oh and so our um turmoil to keep down the turmoil was really helpful so there was some more migration and it worked so yeah we have some assimilation some migration the guy oh i was already thinking the gold mines were filled but not nothing is really <laughs> filled in terms of employment However, yeah, we do have a Japanese mi minor uh, majority now in Hokkaido, which will lead for, to lower turmoil and hence probably to higher migration. Hawaii has been... Okay, and this means basically that Hawaii is now also... We can interact with them. And we can... Because the interest was established. And now... Whew. So yeah, of course... We could start spamming out our colonies right now, but I do find it a little bit odd. And I don't really, maybe I don't, uh, just, they never understood the colonist uh, mechanic that well, but I don't see where I would really pay for that or for the upkeep and so on. So maybe let's start slow and in a more immersive way. And we will start settling or, or putting up some Japanese trade and uh, yeah, diplomatic yeah, the embassies or something like here in the Micronesias. Micronesias, once we settle those, or maybe Nauru as well. Nauru is just this one. Okay, and then Nauru. Let's also go in with Nauru. But then we stop. So these 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 islands over here, and once they are settled, we can continue down here. Or uh, and, and have a look what happens to the other Oceanian possessions. But for now, yeah. And New South Wales slash Australia's improving relations. And we do have, where well, we just talked about here, the Hawaiians. So we saw that they started to interact with us. Wouldn't be kind of interested for us to conquer the Hawaiians. The Americans don't even have interest here, so... Just the British. Will the British intervene if we do so? I think we're cordial. I 
but I don't want to provoke them too much since they were also damaging the relations at the same time. So maybe let's stay cordial for the moment and observe when the Brits go to another war or something. We might use the situation to attack Hawaii if they stay like this. Seeing that US really don't care, we're like directly intervening here. Makes me believe that it might be useful to have some security... Um, some security island over here, even in like game mechanic wise, it doesn't really affect it too much. We got the repeaters, and by the same time, I'm kind of fascinated that we already did we already settle those because they appear red on the map. It just takes, or they were already ours. I'm sure they West Micronesia, no, and maybe, yeah, maybe it just goes fast. Repeaters unlocked. The repeater allows the fringe firing of several cartridges in between reloading, which in turn leads to a greater rate of fire. Very nice. So we get repeating rifles for the arms industry, so yeah, we can build way more arms right now. I don't know if this is also again one of the best depictions that you get actually better guns and then you suddenly build just more of them. But and we colonized Nauru already, alright. <laughs> that was very fast, okay. Oh, guano deposit, so it's very helpful for sulfur. I guess we're gonna keep it as a colony at first, for sure. Um, yeah, and we have a lot of sulfur right now. But interesting. Okay, and then they may maybe need an, a port. Yeah, let's give them a port over here and maybe here in Japanese West Micronesia also already we, let's build at least a port so they're not fully isolated as well in Eastern Micronesia okay and one, when we finalize the settling or like the colonization of these islands then we might go further south and east even But interesting that no European power really got interest here in Oceania so, Oceania so far. I mean, these, talking realistically, these islands here are economically quite worthless. I mean, the well, guano deposits, so maybe they will be our main source of uh, um, yeah, sulfur in the future. But, you know, apart from this, I don't see that there's like super helpful other things here. On Nauru, maybe? No. So, yeah. We're gonna live with this. On oh, Wow, our income has dramatically increased, even though we're building our... We were... Building a fleet. So, yeah, industrialization is going smoothly, apparently. So, to be honest, then let's lower taxes. The, uh, these things, maybe, yeah... Uh, We have very cheap artillery that we can sell. Maybe to the Russians then. They pay not happy nicely. Why not? Cheap. Very cheap furniture, alright. We're already in the export mode. Ah, for the seven chairs, I don't need to export them to, uh, to Hawaii right now. Okay, West Micronesia is already being completed. All within a year, wow. Philosophical pragmatism unlocked. The application of actions and actions uh, application and actions of philosophical thought uh, can open whole new avenues for social and political analysis. All right, uh, bureaucracy, population costs uh, slower, and we get some extra influence. So yeah, definitely helpful. West Micronesia is already done, okay. We built the port, no worries. And East Mi East West East Mi Micronesia. Are we still colonizing this? Ah. So next one's probably here, Bougainville. Solomons. Fiji and Tonga. Even when it's free, 
Okay, they started a native uprising diplomatic play against Tuat. All right. So Britain is somehow in action. What if we attack them now? What about the Brits? Um, yeah, I don't know if this one really holds them back from in the African. We went here, will hold them back from joining another one. All right, we can do a trade agreement with the Brits. Wonderful. This is cool. Newspaper, a defamatory article. A newspaper called the Kyushu Daily has printed a bigoted article about the Han people living there. We can suppress this article or we can let it be released. Absolutely wildized a lot of it. That won't matter to of those who read it though. They'll eat it up. Yeah, we can suppress it or ignore it. Standard living to for Han. I mean, we have basically no Han, right? This would be like highly surprised if there's 22k Han Chinese. So, sorry guys. You will not get... Oh, 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 oh. I kind of know why we are... Like, I definitely saw that we're not constructing anything anymore. That's why. And... All right, all right, all right. That's why we got so much money suddenly. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. What is there to do? Low market access to Oku. Let's then build something else here. Another railway. Um, Chubu. Here we can counter with a port. We can declare more uh, interest. Absolutely, let's do that. Let's do Northern China then uh, next. Ah, uh, we can declare more interest because Oceania we are present now. So this is a permanent thing. We can um, end the Brits and the Fran French a little bit back in their deep disputes. Let's have a look which trade routes are not really happy really bad let's take them out for the moment then yeah sometimes it's okay to keep them and just wait a bit but yeah so i'm happy sometimes to get rid of the, for just for the overview die and sugar are still i got distracted i wanted to handle these things here first um expensive military unused construction of course high tensions with Manor Wars are very expensive. Okay, let's have a look at the Manor Wars. On the shipyards. This is pretty easy doable. So let's just switch a couple of them to, or this one, to extensive military shipbuilding. Which is kind of already solving the situation. Let's add another one. Uh, wow, well, wait, sorry, I clicked badly. Is also helping the others that were suffering from the very low uh, prices for the clippers, which is good for us in general. Ah, yeah, and let's, let's keep on building, of course. So, what do we need? We need, well, groceries, maybe some sugar and dye. So, maybe this is the time when I'm also going into this, but let's do some groceries first. And sugar and dye. We did sugars, we just did on the rice farm, right? And that is the next extend Chubu once again. And some dye. Let's get some more dye out. I mean, I'm always eyeball this, you know. You just saw I fired out a couple of them. Then I will see how the price uh, reacts. And especially with these resources, it's not so critical to be super precise. How the price reacts and how it will um, change. But I feel like we have a pretty pretty cool market right now. Um, apart from a couple of idle outliners here. Like furniture. Oh, come on, it's then the 7 to Hawaii. They want it so badly. And we got it again here. Some problems with the infrastructure. Oh no, not here, but... Down here. Then let's get out the railway, railway out. So the current situation looks pretty smooth. Uh, all right, it's March 71 and the colonization of East Micronesia, Micronesia is complete Micronesia. Okay, and we finished the industrial boom. 
With the recent expansion in both the production and consumption of explosives in our country, there has been much debate on whether the military or the industrial sector should have priority. Why should we worry about how much dirt we can move when we should be thinking about how to defend our country? All you care about is starting more wars. We should put this into use for our workers instead. They are more important. Yeah, where are we? What are we going for? Yeah, I mean, this is a no-brainer because, of course, like, roleplay-wise, I would probably now go in the current situation for the military sector, but ammunition, we have only two of those uh, factories right now, and they're doing, or three, and they're doing pretty well in a solid amount, so there's no reason to do this. I mean, chemical plants, this is something for both. We do have 12 of them. But if we go for mines, I mean, we have tons of mines. Now let's have the entire mines and everybody profit from this with the mines through it. We'll still get enough um, military and attention to the military, so it's okay. Okay, and here we need less than 35% peasants. Yeah, I mean, this will happen automatically. And the path to liberalism, yeah, uh, especially the women's rights, is something that won't happen so fast for us now. I doubt that we are going... Uh, so, uh, do we want to liberalize? I don't know yet. Talking about laws, maybe let's have a little bit of a look. What we could do and what we want to do is a time to check out the taxation once again. I mean, it should provide us with quite some revenue. Um, and in the end... Who's really struggling with it? The Saibatsu. Yeah, we will lose some money from the Saibatsu, but I think we can afford it for the moment. The rest is almost anyways marginalized. So let's go for the tax taxation reform again. Let's see if this works out this time. And of course, yeah, we uh, both... We settled all these colonies already. Okay, we have a harbor here, we have a harbor here, we have a harbor here. Let's get our next colonies out then. And extend our empire. This was a little bit fast for my taste. It was like most, more or less a year, you know? Okay, then let's get Will. Let's get Solomon Islands. Let's do... DG. And this is the... And I think the last belt, Karnak or... Um, Tahiti, maybe the next step, or what is this? Tahiti 2. So I think this was the first colonies were these, then the next ring is this. Now we go this, and yeah, these ones here, and then these ones were the next, and of course Papua we don't have... Oh, we must have an interest. Ah, I thought it was about the malaria. Okay, this is a different area of the world. How about our fleet actually talking about interest? Still takes a lot of time apparently to train the sailors, which makes totally sense. I didn't ever notice because uh, it was just always quite passive. Let's also get them, by the way, here the shrapnels. And let's also, come on, let's boost the first aid also for our soldiers and have a look how this affects the liquor price for real. Yeah, liquor price for real got up, but can we somehow... You're making liquor as well? No. It's just for the rye ones. Is there any, anything that produces liquor here automatically? No. But we do have our groceries, so... Grocery factories, so... I think we can compensate pretty easily. Just let them make some... Patent stills. Hot stills. Fruit brandies. Fruit, sugar, and here's sugar and glass. Yeah. And come on, even one more. Cheap liquor for everybody. Volcanization unlocked. Rubber used in the clothing industry provides many advantages, such as waterproofing and elasticity, but it becomes brittle in cold weather and sticky in hot weather. Volcanization is the process of combining the rubber with sulfur and heat to make it more durable and preserves its shape after manufacturing. Alright, we've got elastics for the textile mills, we have yeah, these kind of things, and probably can build rubber plantations. So, yep. 
we need rubber for that but at the moment i think we're doing stuff kind of nicely can we even build rubber plantations already anywhere not at the moment so probably we'll need something yeah probably here in our colonies there will be possibilities i can just imagine or newly to obtain uh colonies and yeah if we already have these things then let's also get at least a fort level one and any of those Hugen will is already completed okay What is Pugan Will about? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely worthless. Not even a, any kind of buff or anything special. So, sorry if you're watching and you're from Pugan Will. I don't want to visit it for sure. A wonderful area and um, would be happy to see it once in my life. But economically speaking, it's kind of worth absolutely nothing. <laughs> Taxation is goes in the next round. Public address goes Avri. What was meant as a routine speech about the merits of proportional taxation by Shigeto Matsudaira. We really hear a lot from him, I feel like. <laughs> I already know his name. <laughs> Has quickly devolved into a public relations disaster for the Kasoku. Fumbling his way through a series of poorly presented talking points, Shigeto Matsudaira's argument has been viciously and convincingly picked apart by its political opponents. The question of everyone's lips now is merely if this misshape was due to his mishap was due to the inherent failings of proportional taxation or can be chalked down to the political incompetence of the Kasoku. Yeah. Well, I think we had exactly this kind of event before, but we don't want the Kasoku to go too small, I think. They're already the smallest of the remaining parties or interest groups, so let's rather yeah take the cost on the colonization game. Britain is in war at war now, and the United States are also in a war or an active play in the Great Plains. So maybe it is the time now for us to conquer conquer Hawaii. I mean, we can go now since it's quite an easy one now. I think we should. Shall we go for the Congress or should we vassalize them first? Their monarch. I mean, due to the and once again, don't make, get me wrong. I feel like the I feel like there were connections between Japan and Hawaii, anyways, in their culture uh, things. Maybe there's a certain respect for um, the king, and I found it more appropriate if we make them actually a vessel instead of conquering them right away. What is um, tributary? Uh, ah, okay, I think they call the Protectorate in German, that's why I was a little bit... Uh, this is the one they could do peacefully. Okay, okay. But we will do them with a hostile one and make them a vessel, I think. Come on, let's try it. Uh, Japan enters the international stage and hopes that the British, that uh, in general seem to like us anyways, since we have a trade agreement and so on, um, are busy over here and the Americans also busy with their... Um, in the Clarate Plains, so let's hope that Hawaii will become and that they are not really intervening. The Brits are actually the only ones that can. The question is, will they? And I feel like that Hawaii is probably even going to accept this without any further... Tonga has been colonized. And we can declare more interest. Alright, then let's go for... Here, Indochina. Next comes uh, Indonesia. Oh, Hawaii is damaging the relations. The Brits are staying at the moment quite neutral. I hope this stays this way. I can't sway them for anything, so let's have an absolute focus over here on what is happening. Must be kind of an interesting uh, experience for the Japanese population just 30 years ago. Well, we're how long in the game? 
a little bit more than 30 years. Cambodia is improving relations. Ah, interesting. Now we can trade and talk with all of these people over here. This is going to be a different topic. Um, then we just like got a new emperor, got rid of the shogunate, and suddenly we start to find new colonies in the Pacific and uh, even vassalizing Hawaii. Countries or places they might have even only heard of before or never knew, I don't know. Oh no, the Brits have a peace with the Tuat, but they don't seem to be very likely at the moment or interested in intervening in here. Alright, and this looks good. Nobody's intervening, so it's gonna be fine. Let's see if fearful. I, sh I normally should expect them to give in and not cause this to become a war, but you never know. Alright, but we're gonna have a war, apparently. Where is the Hawaiians? And... Let's see, we have uh, we have uh, a couple of, we have 10 days to go until the 7th of December of 1871. So we would have a 70 year early uh, Pearl Harbor. I don't know why I'm always picking up these World War II stuff right now. <laughs> okay, then let's do take, do we have an army that is, yeah, we could hire some generals, maybe then like one level one general. Supply re here, yeah. This this one makes sense. No, Shichi Shichiro Tokugawa. Ah, from the Tokugawa family, sure. And then let's take the navy. Which one are we taking? I guess the bigger one, of course. And we'll do a naval invasion here in Hawaii with the troops of Shichiro Tokugawa. So uh, the 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 old family of the Tokugawa gets also their kind of uh, honors. Nah, we can't re do Pearl Harbor. Sorry, we have to wait until January. And yeah, we're slowly. Oh, we're partially in the minus, which is absolutely fine because our debt are really low right now. I'm happy to be in the minus here. I think this is just now. Also, like our navy is slowly filling up when we're getting more and more ships, which is nice to see. Can do attitude. Soldiers are complaining that they have no way to open their canned food. Yeah. It's true the food is a bit better, but what's the point if we can get it at the A? Some lads use rocks, others knives. The only reliable thing is how bloody annoying it's, it is to eat. Yeah, can opener or not. I, I feel like this is an event also. Today I'm a little bit complaining apparently, but this is one of the uh, events you always see in every game. I'm not sure if there's a historical... Uh, yeah situation that refers to this that i'm just don't know but this uh, explains quite a lot for developing can openers i really don't care like i'd rather have the can uh, armed forces anyway lava all right let's see our invasion uh, the war is on the invasion is on its way it starts in three days and yeah as you see the conscripts here shouldn't be should be quite uh yeah not really able to defeat themselves versus us condensation of the solomons continued we move forward and i feel like this war is going to be a very short one not very surprisingly our troops are way superior occupying hawaii it is fully occupied so just gotta wait until the willingness of the Hawaii, Hawaii's, Hawaiians are go, is going down so we can they accept the peace. Philanthropy. The upper strata have decided to donate generously to the poor. Many among them even advocate for the proportional taxation law, agreeing that it would be a fair means of redistributing wealth. We have so much and they have so little. We are still wealthy and even when we give generously. Are you really going to miss a few thousand pounds? Uh, or yen? Think of how little that money means to you and how much it could mean to a starving mother and her children. Oh, such nice uh, upper class people right now. Um, I think we encourage charitable giving as well, so... Yeah. Let's help the lower strata a bit. We're still in a good uh, way to go. Alright, I think this one should... The uh, war Board should go down pretty fast, yeah. Ah. 
but they're fully occupied, right? Or what is this? Yeah, it's just not depicting our flag. Probably we really have to wait for the rest of the year until this is over. And are we doing any other colonies right now, actually? Uh, no, because those are done. And Tahiti was... We cannot reach the state of Tahiti. That's weird. Wasn't it just possible? Or somebody else... I mean, I'm happy if somebody else takes Tahiti. I find it a little bit odd that we're taking everything without competition here. But to be honest, I said this was the first line. And then let's also just go for Kanak. We do have the proportional taxation, which um, also changes a lot. Um, it will help us a lot. Um, actually, yeah, it makes consumption tax way more expensive in terms of authority. So we already see that these are quite uh, like we're in a quite minus right now. And yeah, we're just saying I'm gonna go for Kanak now as well, third line. And let's see how the. Yeah, and we also just see how this affects the new taxation law and affects our money, which will, yeah, we will definitely get some out here of our taxation, of our um, consumption taxes, which, for example, is luxury clothes. Fine art. Um, let's check, that. just be pragmatic and take them the ones out that bring the least money. And then maybe on top a little bit of tea. So we will be back in the minus, but I think this will be fine over time. I really don't, but actually it's okay also to yeah, be a little bit in minus with the authority since we don't or do not really have opposition right now. I think we can absolutely afford this. And yeah, we did vassalize the Hawaiians right now. So here we are. Have a look at, yeah, we could have conquered it, of course, but I think it makes more sense now. Do we have... Well, here, Hawaii, country in the Japanese market. They are our vessel and uh, how's, the how's the situation? They are loyal. Relations are neutral. Um, uh, maybe let's make them happy a bit. All right, guys. So this was the first expansion of the uh, new Japanese empire in the years 71 to 72. And you see a lot, actually, how much we gained here in the Pacific. This is crazy. Um... I find the speed in which this happens maybe a little bit too fast. Maybe uh, I can talk with Max about the modding here, or maybe Paradox will change this in the future anyways. Um, you see that we're getting way more engaged in the world right now. We finished our first war, our invasion of Hawaii. And yeah, I find this is a very good point where we can stop this. And yeah, let me know what you think, where our next targets should be. Or like our next target sounds a little bit bad but i definitely kind of want to definitely expand here into china slash korea or also here southeast asia is for sure very much interesting but we don't also want to annoy too many people now we have a slight slight bit of slightly bit of infamy but not so much yeah let me know what you would like me to do or what you would like what you would do in this situation right now apart from this uh, of course once again please leave me a like and a subscription it helps me a lot and motivates me a lot as well and yeah hope you liked it and uh, then see you next time in the next episode hope we continue by your strategy wolf